previously on Iron City Garage. Everybody, so we're going to get out of here. Um, it's super wet. This is the third time I've been here and the third time it's been pouring down rain. I think it's saying rain for the next hour. We're very wet and luckily we're not cold. We're just very wet. I bought the truck that I've been after for a couple years, got that paid for. It'll be out in a couple weeks and we're probably gonna come back and get it. Unless the weather's gonna be crap, then we're gonna ship it. We're moving on to the Impala. Unfortunately, there are some gnarly storms coming out of the west. More rain is on the way. The flood watches do continue as we show you what's happening in Kentucky right now. That are going to, I think, chase us all the way home. I anticipate being in the rain all day, but you know, that's the pick in life. I've experienced trailer lights going out, my back window getting blown out, and now we're gonna be really, really soaking wet all day. So stay tuned, I'm excited to see this car. Hey everybody, we are real close here. Uh, about four minutes away, two and a half mile or so to picking up the Impala. We are uh, moving pretty fast because we are trying to outrun this rain because we really don't want to load this thing up in the downpour that we were just in. <laughs> we're gonna we're fine with driving in it all day. That doesn't really bother me, but I don't want to load the car up in the downpour. So. <laughs> so we were going very fast getting here. cattle. I'm not a farmer, but I think those are beef cattle. But I don't know, squat about anything farming, except how to find old trucks on farms. I'm good at that. They're super wide. Shenders where the auction was. Oh, great. Gates be locked. Gates be locked. Come on, buddy. I told you when I was going to be here. My phone ain't even gonna make a phone call from here. I don't even know if I'll fit in there if I pull up tight to the gates. I don't think I will. Might be a good drone opportunity though, while we're waiting. The Chevy truck's back there. I see the back of the Impala. Please leave your message for a so, Yeah, I don't know how soft this is, but I'm kind of just gonna, yeah. We're just gonna kind of nestle it in right here. Flashers on, and uh, that's it. So yeah, go pop the drone up while while he's not around. Everybody, we're getting ready to back down here and get this Impala loaded up right now. It's starting to drizzle a little bit, so. Ugh. Oh, my GoPro's hitting the ceiling. I'll have to scrunch down a little bit. And I got my man on the trailer here, so. Bright, flashy lights here, just in case anybody comes down the road. We don't want Shane getting taken out. So I really shouldn't have him on the trailer, but these camera guys always want to be in the action. I don't know how he feels about it right now.
Hey Shane, it don't rain much right here. <laughs> Said it don't doesn't rain much right oh here. Oh my god, dude. It started pouring and I was like, dude, if I keep this dry in the air, we're gonna lose it. I'm gonna untarp it. I feel bad for you, dude. Are you sure you're good getting soaked? Yeah, I'm already like I'm used to it, aren't you? Because what we're going to have to do is run, I got to run the winch cable through that back D ring on the back right side of the trailer. All right. I got to pop it through there and then hook to that car and try and bring that thing around the corner. I'm not going to try and load it on an angle, I don't think. If that pickup truck wasn't there, I would, but. All right, I'm going to put that GoPro on the, on the floor. All right. Yeah, I just don't know if I even move that trailer over here. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Let me grab my bag here. We'll pop in there for a minute. That sounds good. Where's the, are you going in the front of the building or the back of the building? Okay, cool. I'll see you in a second. Right. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Are you backing up one? I don't know. I'm going to hop under there and rig it real quick. Um, I want to grab, can you do me a favor and, um, Grab my gloves out of the pa the door pocket of my driver door. Trying to get that tilt deck like bam, yeah. so we can just go. Let me try and do that. All right, I'm gonna really try and get that truck and trailer up there. I gotta watch that <coughs> water thing in front of the truck or whatever. But yeah, yeah I want to try and just get this thing right on. Even if I get it on there sideways, we can fix that. You're good. Good. You got like three or four feet. Go ahead. You're good. Go. Go, 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 go. You're good. Good, 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 good. Good. Keep going. You're good. That is so helpful having you around for fucking everything. I never would have got that truck where we're at. With that broken back window, I can't see anything. Okay, uh, we're gonna uncover it. We're gonna uncover it and we're gonna try and cut that top off, so. I might be too steep, but we'll see. I think I'm getting this. If we cut the wheel. If I get just the front wheels on the trailer, it might not be bad, but let's cut all this stuff off. might go this is gonna be nice Oh, we got fresh trim. Okay. I saw the keys were, yes. Sweet. Cars never have keys. 
That's amazing. The passenger key usually opens the trunk. I couldn't figure out. Yeah, the passenger key opens the trunk. She just froze up. Yeah. How'd you guys have the trunk open? Don't know. Somebody took photos of it with the trunk open. Oh no, I got it. I got it on here. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's strange. Yeah, I couldn't get that open, so I got in there, and then uh, we tried to open it from inside, but I couldn't get my nephew. He's just being kind of <laughs> honestly. I told him, I said, "Get in there." He said, "You get in there." I said, "I don't fit." Let's make sure these are the keys for the car. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, they but... go in the ignition. Okay. Yeah, they fit in the ignition. I don't know about the other. <laughs> ignition weird so. so this is your gas cap key oh well, look at that that opens up the door okay well this should be the trunk then nope all right well we don't got time to mess with it so so she's in neutral but you still got to push the clutch in uh, was that the deal no it's in gear Right oh, now. you got it in gear? Yeah. Okay. We didn't pop in the We had it in gear, but it didn't roll off on Okay. Cool. All right, let's see. So are you all going to restore this? Or no, gonna... just flip it like it is. Really? Yeah, just yeah. clean it up and flip it again. Not do any, no four pans? No, uh-uh. No, it'll go to California and get like a frame off done. Yep. Yeah, it'll for sure end up in California. What's that? That's how much you're looking to flip it. Uh, once I clean it up, maybe get it running and do the title work and everything. Yeah. It should do around. Ah. Shane, you are the ah. man, buddy. All right. I'll tell you right now. Craft. That's all I can say. God damn. That rain is bullshit. Yeah, now I just hope it will pull that one. Ah. Oh my god, I'm getting really ah. wet. <laughs> Dude, let's go in the building for a minute. This is All right, so what we're doing right now is I've hauled a lot of convertibles and you don't want this shit flapping in the wind going down the highway asking Mr. State Trooper to pull you over. So since this is all garbage anyways, that shit all just hit me in the face. Uh, we were going to cut all of this out. They don't need it for a template. You can buy all of this brand new. It's just trash. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get that little bit. We're gonna cut this shit off because it ain't gonna make it either. That's what we want. We want the roof bolt down. Ugh. Make sure that we're locked in here. Yeah, that's the lock. We want yeah. that on for sure. Um, this kind of shit here, we're gonna have to get into the bed of my pickup. These don't even belong to this. We want that SS hub cap. Those seats are good. Yeah, that shit can go into bed. Hey, these seats right here are not. No, they're not gonna go anywhere. They'll be good. Yep. Man, this rain is. All right. Convertibles. Me? Yeah, you need to just that. Convertibles and trucks. Convertibles. Lots of trucks. You don't just do anything. No, not just one thing. No. That's a... I'm partial to anything that makes money. What I was gonna say, a lot of times. Deals and these guys don't know how to get this
going to let this deck down so we're not digging. Favorite piece of equipment I own. I love it. This trailer is the best investment of all the shit I spend money on. This was the best. What's that? It's 16,000 GVW. What's that? It, it'll dump about 14. They say it'll dump 10, but I've seen YouTube videos of guys dumping 14. I have my, I have a E42 Bobcat excavator, 10,000 pound machine. It tilts that no problem. It's way nicer than going up ramps than getting a big teeter drop, you know? Oh, yeah. I hate that. I was hoping we could get that trunk open so I could throw all that shit inside there. You got a box or something we could throw all this trash in? Mm. How about throw it on that tarp and drag it inside or something? Oh, shit. Drop your tailgate on that? No, hell no. I have no better than that. Nah, dude, I've done that to a couple trucks, man. I, I've totaled tailgates on trailer hitches a couple times. I don't know how I'm going to tie this thing down without getting the trunk is falling out of the damn thing. The tire is coming out of the trunk. That's why I really wish I could get that. Yeah, that fucking tire is going to come out of the trunk. I'm glad I got chained because I think I'm doing this the easy way. I think I'm just running right around them shock mounts or right around that axle or something. I wish I had a J-hook with me. I don't think I do. But I'm not using the wheel straps. I'm just going to throw one chain on the back of this thing and one binder and be done with it. I can't ever really use J-hooks. The J-hooks with the winch don't work well because I run out of cable. It just sucks the bridle up inside the winch. Yeah. Like, I'll not be paying attention winching hard on something and then before you know it, it stopped and I'm hardly on the trailer. You were f***ing cool if you had the cherry bombs. <laughs> we'll still tag you. If you send me a logo, we'll throw it on there for you. Holy shit! This one got wet. Well, good. This is going back in the car then. Since that thing weighs 100 pounds. God damn. Got it. Yeah. Oh, that's full. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Full. We just want to drop it. Drop it in the back seat. Okay, whatever. Put it wherever it goes. Alright, oh, we'll That'll work. That's perfect. She ain't coming out. That's not nah, I think it's 100. It's legitimately 100 pounds yeah. of water. No, we are gonna finagle something back here with this. Back there. Thank you. Yeah. Back left or Couldn't hear nothing. Didn't even sound like a diesel. It sounded like a hybrid. So, yeah, this, what? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm a, if you're gonna upgrade to a newer one, the 17 to 19 is really good. Yeah. So that, I mean, at 57, it was affordable, you know. But. One I built was 87. Yeah, the one I bought was the Denali I bought from uh, Laura GMC in St. Louis that I returned was uh, 87 or something, 90. Yeah. And I don't know. I didn't love it, and I had anxiety the whole time I was driving it because I didn't love it, and I was missing that. All right, Shane, let's get some clothes. All right, it's on the trailer. We're all done. And, of course, it quit raining, and it's pretty beautiful now that we're all done. Me and Shane are soaked. We're going to head into the barn here, strip down, and put some dry clothes on and dry shoes. Hit the road to head home. We got one more thing to look at on the way home, weather permitting. 
and that's it so stay tuned for part two which will be getting it into the shop and knocking the car apart and seeing if we can't get this motor to spin and get it running and driving and aired up and cleaned up and we'll get it out for sale we're sorry you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service to get the keys. How did they have the keys to this car? Glove box was locked and nobody opened it. How did I get it to turn once and I can't get it to turn again? just needs persuaded. Oh, I don't need the big crowbar. I want it to... Ow! It's the hinges. There we go. Oh. Fucking hate me on YouTube. <laughs>